The temperature record tool allows you to calculate your own local, regional or global temperature record. Let's take a quick tour of the basic features. When you start the tool, it may take a few moments to load the data. When the dots appear, it's ready. The map shows around 5,000 weather stations from the Global Historical Climatology Network. Zoom in and out using these buttons. Explore by using the left mouse button to drag the map. If you are using a touch screen, you may need to use the arrow buttons. Select a weather station by clicking on it. You'll be told the name and code number of that weather station. Now use the Calculate button to see the temperature record for that station. Some of the stations don't have enough data to be usable in this software. Use the back button to get back to the map. Stations can also be selected or deselected in groups. Change the select option to country and click on any station. All the stations in that country will be selected. Use these to calculate a national temperature record. We've now got two temperature records. Only the most recent calculation is shown. To show the graph for the earlier calculation, select a line colour for it. It's a good idea to name each of your experiments so that you have a record of what you have done. We can also select all of the stations in a circular region about a station. The size of the region depends on the zoom level. This is useful for calculating a regional record or we can calculate a global record by using the Select All button. Temperature trends can be calculated over different periods for each of the records. Set the start date and end date for the trend period in these boxes. Your browser may also provide arrow buttons to adjust these numbers. The trend is shown as a straight line on the graph and as a value in the graph legend in units of degrees Celsius per decade. You can also remove stations from the current selection. For example, to select all the stations outside the United States, use Select All and then use the Remove and Country options to remove the US stations. Four different datasets are available. Two of them include ocean data as well. You can select just the ocean data by treating it as a country. There's more information about some of the advanced options in the course notes.